What is good, everybody? Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 96, I do believe it is. Never remember the number. I will remember when we get to 100, though, which should be a very climatic episode. And we're approaching it every single day, man. We're getting closer and closer to Episode 100, which should be an epic celebration. I still don't know all the things that we're going to do there. Need to start probably planning that, to be honest. But I want that one to be a big one. You know what actually would be dumb as hell, but actually kind of sick? Is if we did, like, a live show where people could actually come to the event. You know what I mean? Mean. Like, it's a live surgery, people witnessing it in person, Dr. Whitekiss performing surgery. Like, you know, when those doctors are above the surgeon watching him work? Some dumb shish like that. Anyway, that'd be hilarious. Nonetheless, man, today we do have WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 96. Should be a fun one. We got a lot of figures represented here. I had some cool ideas, I think, and hopefully everything comes together nicely and it doesn't epically fail. Now, I don't think we're doing anything here today that's going to shatter the stratosphere of the Earth, but I think one in particular fix up I'm really excited about and then the rest are some that I think could work and we're going to get into that but let's shut the hell up man and get into it we always start off with our guy on the stretcher and I can't remember who said this but somebody pointed it out to me that this figure is so much like you know I talked about how I hated that the shirt was black and somebody was like dude this is essentially the exact same figure as the Elite 105 why not just take the two figures and kind of morph them together and I was like damn that's pretty genius so I think that's what we're going to do man I'm going to morph these two figures together, I think, and create a couple cool Dominic fix-ups. And I'll showcase that a little bit once we get there. But yeah, know that. We're gonna we're gonna get into some cool stuff with those two Dominic figures. Next up, man, we do have our Cody Rhodes Elite 109 figure. If you guys missed our review of this figure, you definitely need to go check that out. I greatly appreciate that. But today, I just felt this suit was so flat, and I really, you know, I there's a thing about these suited figures, and you could, realistically, you could get a decal that could go over this suit jacket and these arms and make there be a design, but I don't think it would look that good, man, and it'd be one of those things where they fall off and it wouldn't be very cool. So today we're going to be head swapping this guy and we're going to be shoe swapping this guy with this Paul Heyman. Now, this figure originally has come with black shoes, but I'm going to put brown shoes on there. I think the brown shoes would be cooler, and if it's not accurate, I'm sure I'll find this guy at retail at some point. I will find another suited Cody figure, and I will buy another one to keep it kind of stock. And I may play around with that. I just think that he's too small, and I'll play around with some different things and we'll get into that, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my thinking there. I'm going to fix this a 109 Cody up a little bit. Change him up and I'll find the stock figure at a later date. But I had this extra body of Paul Heyman laying around and I'll probably I'll probably put the black shoes on here and we can make something work here. Yeah, I, I have a cool idea there. We'll make him work. We'll, we'll do some stuff there. We'll get Cody fixed up and all those things. And that kind of plays into this figure back here. We're going to put this top talents head sculpt on there because I think the smiling head sculpt for Cody and suit just kind of works, you know? And I don't really like that straight expression that the Elite 109 has. I think that's easy money. That is absolute easy money there. And I think for this figure, I think I was going to do like kind of a triple head swap. And really, I don't like that straight face head sculpt. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do there. I don't want, like, I think I'm going to put this on the top pick. So the red, the red attire Cody will have the screaming expression. This one will be headless and I'll find a different head sculpt. We'll find a different head sculpt for that guy. But I definitely don't want that straight face head sculpt. I think it looks like trash. Next up, we do have the LA Knight figure. We're going to be putting the basic head sculpt on here. But as you guys know, we're going to have to do a little bit of modding because this sits, it, it, he pretty much looks like a damn no neck. He looks ridiculous. This head sculpt sinks way too low. And the skin tones don't match, but really, I don't care. All right, we don't care. Shout out Stephen A. We don't give a shish, all right? We're going to put this head sculpt over here because it looks way better. This head sculpt looks uh, pretty pretty god-awful. So we're going we're gonna to fix him up there. I think that'll most definitely be a thing. We're also going to be head swapping this cane here, this SummerSlam cane figure. This is going to look so much better. God in heaven, Batista, just stand the hell up, why don't you? I will fight you in an alley. This head swap's going to be nice. I think it's going to turn out pretty damn good. I'm really intrigued with uh, how this one's going to look. And I really, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I might do it on a whatnot stream, but I think I'm going to customize, not on a whatnot stream, but I'm going to customize it and uh, make a version of this figure with this similar head sculpt, but I'm going to paint the, the fade haircut on there and then put that on whatnot. You guys can let me know if you think that would be a cool figure to put on there, like an 04 Kane figure to sell as a custom. I think that would be cool. Next up, we have a Frankenstein effort. You guys know I love a damn Frankenstein effort, man. Buckle the hell up for this Frankenstein effort. So what we got over here, man, is we're going to take this old 
Ultimate Edition Batista figure. And we're going to be putting these white elbow pads on here. I think this is from Humberto Carrillo. Going to be putting these white elbow pads onto this Batista. That is not all, man. That is not all. We're also going to be putting these Bobby Lashley black and white boots on here. So this Bob is going to be bootless, which is sad, but I have a couple of these. So, you know, that's why we buy the extras, man, for parts. Then we're also going to be putting these white knee pads onto this Batista from this Tatanka. I wanted to turn this into a white attire Cody or a white attire Dolph Ziggler, but I haven't done it so long that I'm, I'm giving up on the project and we'll come back to that. And this Tatanka not having knee pads is not going to make me lose sleep. I will sleep like a damn baby without this Tatanka having knee pads, so I do not care. Again, we don't care. We do not give a shish. So there's that. And then we're finally going to take the Elite 72. I think we did this fix up a long time ago on surgery. Like, took all the leg sleeves off so he has all of his tattoos on here and all we're doing is removing his head sculpt so take this head sculpt off we'll put it over here and we're gonna have a bald all white gear batista figure ultimate edition and i can't remember who i want to say i saw this fix up somewhere and i only have it in my brain i couldn't find it again so we will see i don't know where i saw it i saw it somewhere but it was very sick and i think it's gonna look great so we're gonna have that played out today in surgery and i think that's gonna be epic man but i had some other fix ups here but i didn't get them here in time but that's why the surgery wasn't uploaded yesterday but yesterday was sunday they couldn't arrive and i was like you know what f it we'll just we'll upload this the next day so welcome to monday unless let's shut the hell up and get into surgery all right man let's get into it some of these things don't require anything which is very nice but some of these things are gonna do it so we're gonna do the frankenstein effort at the end and also dominic's gonna require some heat the cody's gonna require some heat so I guess what we can start off with is our cane here, man. Now, this goofy head sculpt, I was never... I think it works for certain times, but, like, this isn't the smile I think of when I think of Kane. This just looks like a derpy-looking cane, you know what I mean? When I think of Kane smiling around this era... It's way different than this. I don't know. I just don't really care for it. And uh, it would have been cool to see like that five o'clock shadow for the head sculpt, you know, like that, that not completely bald, but he had some hair, man. He had a little bit of, of hair up there at this time. So that would be cool to see. But anyway, I'm going to shut the hell up now and I'm going to pop this head sculpt off and we're going to pop this head sculpt off and now that this figure is going the decade of domination i think is what this is i guess i'll put the smiling head sculpt over here even though i'm pretty sure i have this fix up already um because he did wear the, you know this is what i call like the here comes the pain look i think it was this is kind of like that 03 look when he removed the mask he still he wasn't shirtless yet for a little bit he still wore the singlet, so this doesn't look terrible, and I think I already have a fix-up like that, though, so that's something I definitely want to look into, but we're definitely going to pop this on here and find out what the hell is going on there, and we will take a look at that in a moment. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't have a damn giraffe neck, because if he has a giraffe neck, I will have to make some mods. I don't know, you guys can look at that at the end there, but I'm kind of worried he has a giraffe neck. We may have to drill up in that thing, and like that. All right. All right, man, next up, we do have the Elite 108 LA Knight figure, and simple, man. I mean, they have made it easy on Dr. Whitekiss. You can make an easy head transplant, which uh, would kill you in real life. But uh, So we have that, and then we have the basic, which is such a better likeness, man. It's not even close. Let's pop this head sculpt off here, and what I've done is I, I want to show you what it looks like now and then what it's going to look like after the modification. So when you just plop this on here, if you have both these figures, <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. So, what I'm going to do is a simple modification, is if you go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that, man, you can buy this, which is some sticky tack. They may even have it at Walmart, actually, and I think it's like in the office section or something, and it's basically like this sticky goo stuff, and you just take a little stuff right here, and you ball this up. And I'm going to uh, ball it up and do a little ball, like some Play-Doh or something. And we're going to stick that up inside the head sculpt. That may be a little bit too much, to be honest. And then you're just going to shove this on like that. And voila, you have a better looking LA Knight. Now, the big thing about it is it's on sticky tack, right? So it's not going to fall off. You don't have to worry about anything like that. You can still articulate it. Uh, you may have to maneuver it a little bit, but uh, that's hella better, man. Look at that. That's hella nice. Oh, yeah, I think there was another fix-up I wanted to do, but I can't think of it right now. Hold up. I think I was going to put Big E feet on this guy to give him the, the you know, the, the Jordan 11 shoes. Pretty sure I was going to do that, man. 
Hold up. I don't know if I have a damn Big E. We're going to have to wait on that one. And plus, like, his ultimate, I think, is coming with it. His Defining Moments figure is coming with it. Oh, so it's just, like, why? And, the, dude, I need to do a rant video about that new Defining Moments set. Because I got to be honest there, man. I, I was heavily disappointed in the set. And there's some good pieces of the set. But there's some other pieces that I'm like, what the hell are we doing? Anyway, we're going to put this ugly head onto this basic. And uh, now he's a giraffe neck. So, the duality of man. You have giraffe neck on the basic and a no neck on the elite crazy crazy how all these figures have these different things i might mod that and sell that on whatnot or something i might mod that and put it in the crowd or mod it and put it on whatnot i don't know we'll see next up man we do have dominic and for dominic i'm trying to decide exactly what i want to do here now the the one thing i know i want to do is i think i think i'm just gonna head swap it man let's just see what a head swap looks like um let's just see what a head swap and like putting the flannel over here and see what that looks like and then we can plan our next you know plan of attack there but here's what the figure looks like. I do like the uh, the Cody boots on there. I think it looks actually kind of fire. So I'm going to take these glasses off and this off. Now this head sculpt can go over here. So we are going to put this head sculpt over here. So see now, this is essentially that same figure except it's, it's a better attire, man. I mean, this is just plain black and whatnot. And the white boots are more updated than these black kick pads. So... I know he's wearing like those cow print boots and stuff, but I think if we take this and we put this flannel on here, I'm going to put this flannel. Oh my God, will you please get the flannel off, you incoherent sack of shish. Oh my god in heaven, dude. So now I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the Elite 109 and put the Elite 105 head sculpt on here. And then uh actually hold up. We're gonna just completely flip this around. So put this on here. And then that on there, and then put the... We're going to go right back to how it was, except they're still going to be a little bit different here. So we'll put the bandana on here. So now we're going to have a completely different look for both of these figures. But they're essentially the same, but they're different. So now the Elite 109 has the Brock Lesnar flannel, which I low-key kind of want to put it on one of my Ultimate Brocks, but... We'll just leave this for now. All his shish is falling off. So we'll take this and we'll stick the headband on here. The Eddie Kingston. This is the Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston headband. And then we will put this on here. Alrighty. Now we got to fix up Dominic Elite 109. And now we're going to fix up our Elite 105. Take this and put this over here. See, I just like the purple underneath, man. I didn't like that plain black wrestling garb that he was wearing. It just didn't look good to me. So we'll put that on there. And I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to leave that open, and I would put this on the neck, but I don't think that's going to work. So we're going to have to put that on the face, and then we'll put the glasses on there. I mean, really, you can leave all this garb off, because, I mean, he doesn't wear this all the time. You know what I could see them doing on his next Elite? Which, I don't know when we're getting Elite, because we are getting the Ultimate Edition, but I feel like Dominic's so so hated, he's kind of like the modern-day Trash Corbin. I could see them doing that shirt wrap thing that they used to do to Ziggler. We'll take a look at Dom at the end there, but I think that looks pretty solid for the most part, what we got going on right there. And now, next up on our agenda is going to be our Cody Rhodes figures. Now, we do know that we're going to have to heat up the shoes, but before we do that, we are going to do our head swap. So popping that, I just, God, dude, I hate this head sculpt right here. I'm so over this head sculpt. And I saw some people saying, why does he hate that head sculpt, man? It's just overused, man. We've seen it on like 17 different figures. Change the damn record already. All right, putting that Cody head sculpt on there. Smiling Cody in the suit. Looking pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. We're going to heat up the feet here. We're going to do that right there. And then now that this figure's headless, I am going to try to put this head sculpt. That sound god awful. We're going to try and put this head sculpt on here. May not work, actually. May have to mod that a little bit. Mm. You know what? We're going to heat it up with this head sculpt and just see if we can shove it on there. You know what I'm saying? All right. We're going to have to bring the trusty hair dryer in here. White trusty hair dryer. Get him ready. And I'm going to throw this the hell out in the yard. And we're going to hit this. And we're going to do some swippages and swappages. All right, man, that should be good enough. I don't even know how long I just heated that up for, but let's see if we can get this on here because, again, it should be kind of soft. And hopefully we can, like, drive that down on there. If not, oh, man, I don't know. That may have to be modded. Those look quite solid, though. But we'll take a look at that in a moment. And that is the Chase <laughs> Unmatched Cody. I'm going to have to find a head sculpt for that for sure. But let's take the shoes off of this Paul Heyman figure here. And then take the black shoes off the Cody. Relative ease here. And then we're going to put the black shoes. This is the right foot. So hopefully this will go on there. 
And it's pretty good right there. Easy. Things are a lot easier when you use enough heat, but it's a very thin line that you gotta walk, man, because you could easily burn the shish out of the plastic. Like, there, you know, you gotta, it, it comes with experience, though, you know? You don't just come out with a PhD in this stuff. It takes some, it takes some practice, for sure. And I'm still no, not perfect, man. Things can go awry on the surgery table sometimes. All right, we got that Cody fix up right there. We'll look at him in a moment. But now we're moving into our Frankenstein Batista. And this one should be pretty fun, man. I think we got a pretty intriguing one here. So we got the boots from Lash. We got we got to take the boots off this Tatanka to get the uh, to get the knee pads off. Need the head sculpt from this Elite 72 Batista, which is a damn good figure. We don't get enough later year Batistas. A lot of the Batistas we get a ruthless aggression, which I love, but it would be cool to get an older version of Batista as well. But the head sculpt of the Ultimate is removable. The hands are removable for the elbow pads. The boots are not, so we have to heat up three pairs of boots and a head sculpt, which should be I mean relatively easy, man. Hopefully we can get this all in one go. I don't want to sit here and mess around. So let's get the white trusty hair dryer up for uh, act number two here and see if we can get them going. Hold up, let's position this a little bit better here. It's all about positioning too, man. You gotta be careful. You gotta know what you're doing. All right, brothers, let's get into it. And sisters, I don't know how many females are out there. Good God in heaven, man. What are we doing? It's very hot. It's a very hot day. All right. Speaking of which, it's about to heat up here in Bama. Oh my god, I just tore that ear a little. I don't think it's egregious, but god, what are you doing? That is certainly something that happens a lot on Kevin Owens figures. So that's something that definitely takes place. You gotta be very careful, but we're gonna plop this onto here. Alright, just like that. That's not bad right there. Alright, now we're gonna take the boots off like this. But speaking of which, man, down in Alabama, I mean, we're about a month away from it just being miserable outside, and I honestly don't look forward to it. I mean, I look forward to being outside with the fam and going to the beach and all that shish, going to Disney and all that stuff, but holy hell, that Bama heat is something else, man. Anybody that can relate, you can let me know. I know, like, anybody that lives in the South, you know, bro. It feels like the white trusty hair dryer is just blowing in your face just 24-7. Let's get these knee pads on here, and then we can put the Bobby Lashley boots on here. And I was going to use some old... Old Elite, I think it was Elite 72 Buddy Murphy knee pads, but I tried to ask him the designs off along uh, like a while back, and the design like turned the whole damn knee pad red, and I could not get it off no matter what I tried, so kind of busted those, hate to see it, but we're going to remove the left knee pad here, we're going to plop this onto here like so, moving this backwards, Jesus, I think everything's going to look alright man, this is going to be alright, there we go, got that on there, you, got, you know, you can kind of see what we're working with here man. Kind of see what we're working with. Here's the left boot there. And these boots aren't necessarily 100% accurate to Batista, but I mean, this attire is not even accurate, you know, to Batista. So really, I don't care because this is kind of a fantasy gear anyway, you know. Now that I look at it, should I have kept the regular ultimate boots on there? I mean, that could be a whole different gear, I feel like. I feel like you're you're messing with different gears there when you get into that. Let's, let's change the elbow pads and then I feel like we'd have a better assessment. This Elite 72 Batista, I'm just gonna put this ultimate head on here just to see what it looks like. If he never lost hair. If he never lost hair and it was an alternate reality. Look at that. Looks like a menace to society. Anyway, let's get all these extra parts out of here and out of here and I'm gonna put the elbow pads on this Batista and we'll showcase everything we've done here today on action figure surgery. And alright man, here is everything we did today on action figure surgery. I think some stuff turned out good. I don't think there's anything here that necessarily just blows me away. You know, I don't think it's earth shattering, but I like a lot of the stuff going on here. I'd like to know your thoughts down below, but I'll, I'll give you all of my thoughts here. But here is our first two. We have the first two Dominics right here. And, I mean, they kind of look exactly how they did. I mean, it's not like the biggest thing ever, but I kind of like it. Like, it's a different take, and I already have a regular Dominic Elite 105 over here. So, I have uh, a Dominic. So, I have a Dominic. I have this Elite 109 fix-up, and then I have Elite 105 fix-up. So, I have three different Judgment Day Dominics, which is crazy, but, you know, they're kind of different in their own ways, but I'd like to know what you think. This is the new Elite 109 with some different stuff, and this is the Elite 105 with some different stuff. So, here's a bit different. You know, the bandana, you could say the bandana's holding the hair back. I don't know. You can kind of just pick your poison there. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on for the Dominic figures. In terms of Cody Rhodes, this figure over here looks pretty good. I think that the head could be lowered a little. I would say that this head sculpt does need to be altered a little if I drilled in there. But look at this, man. I think this is, like, the biggest thing. Look at this. If I were to drop this head sculpt just a little, the 
neck tattoo would be perfect placement still. The tattoo's off the head, and it would still be in the perfect spot. It's all about how they cut this head skull. So look, if they would dig out that little indention right there, you could get rid of the tattoo on the neck. This is accurate. This is how it should look. This is not how it looks. It's not that damn close to the ear, Brad. Don't care what you say. But here's our two Cody's. I think they looked good, man. And look at the brown shoes on this Cody. This looks way better than it's probably coming across. I promise this looks pretty damn good. This head sculpt may be a little bit big. And I think it's just because of this short, stumpy body. If they gave this man better looking sculpted legs and a little bit broader torso, just give us a new suited body. This would look a hell of a lot better. But it's still a cool figure. I do like it and enjoy it and everything like that. It's just something I want to mention. And then this head sculpt with the screaming expression, I actually like a lot. I just need to drop the head sculpt just a hair. Just a hair. Sits a little too tall. And we will. Uh, make that work there, but that does look good too. I like that red, the red attire Cody with the screaming expression. The LA Knight, we kind of knew what to expect there. Uh, it looks very good. It looks way better than the regular Elite 108 head sculpt. I have zero, zero, you know, harps on that one. I like that a lot right there, and I think what would be cool in this figure is if he had red shoes or red boots, I think that would really tie it together. Like with the red jacket, the red trunks, the black knee pads, black tape, black elbow pad. If this had red shoes on it, I think that would look cool, but I don't think we have a mold in those red shoes. Unless you did, like, completely different boots but I don't think you have these style boots in this sculpt in red I don't think so there is that but then we do have our cane figure which turned out good I think the head sculpt is again like the Cody sitting a little too tall I think it could be altered a little but it definitely I like the pissed off head sculpt for an 04 cane I just think that looks good man so and I think the head sculpt just looks better in general man better than that goofy smile so I'll take that all day and it's double jointed I do know they are using the Omos arm mold so he's got those long ass arms but probably could be the bulkier legend style but that could be a fix-up you could probably do as well because the arms should be interchangeable because they're double-jointed. And then last but not least, we have our fix-up ultimate white attire Batista here. And I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the ugly torso or maybe it's the lack of tattoos or I don't know. I just don't like it that much. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think down below. I guess it's not egregious, but it's certainly not my favorite. And I'm really debating just switching it back completely. I I don't know. Or maybe I'll sell it on whatnot or something. I don't know. I just, I'm not really feeling it, man. I don't know. That's, and that's rare. I feel like usually when we do swaps, I don't swap for the hell of a swap, man. I usually am pretty committed to it. And I, I, I have an idea in my head. I'm like, okay, this could look good. I want to say it took 96 episodes to find something that I just don't like that much, but I don't know. Maybe somebody could go find where I didn't like something else or you can point out something, but I mean, I guess some things I'll be like, yeah, I'm not really feeling this or eh, I don't know if it works. Let me know. This case, I don't really care for it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Nonetheless, man, I think that is pretty much... I think what it is is there not being any white on the face of the boots. If there's white on the face of the boots instead on the sides, I think that would change it. Because Batista's boots, you know, they have the they have the gra they have the the red on the front. And I think that may be what's kind of throwing me off. But nonetheless, man, I think that is going to wrap up WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 96, man. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these fix-ups down in the comment section below where you guys stand. Do you hate it? Do you like it? I'd like to know all the things down below, man. But huge shout-out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you guys so very much every single day, guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, of course. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time.